I'm Allegra, a speech and language therapist, and in the next few videos, I am going to explain a little bit more about how our speech works, how complex it is, and how having full mouth dental implants may affect your speech a little bit, and why you will take a bit of time to readjust afterwards. So hopefully these videos help you feel a little bit more empowered and know what to expect. As humans, communication is so important to us forms the basis of most of our relationships and allows us to express our wants and needs. When we speak, air travels up from our lungs and out of our mouths, and that is our airflow. In our mouths, we have something called articulators. So these help us form the airflow into speech sounds. Our teeth, tongue, and lips are all articulators. We make different types of sounds depending on how we guide the air. So there is a certain type of sound called fricatives. These are sounds such as shh, th, and f, and they are made by pushing air through a small gap created by our tongue, lips, and teeth. They might be a little tricky to make after surgery because they rely on the teeth quite a lot and our teeth will have changed. We also have sounds called plosives, which is where the airflow is stopped temporarily. So for example, plosives made in the back of the mouth, for example, k and g, they might be easier to make because they don't really require the teeth too much, whereas sounds made at the front, like p and b, they use the teeth more. So they might take a little bit more time as well to adjust to uh, compared to those back sounds. When the teeth in your mouth have changed and become prosthetic teeth, the rest of your mouth will need quite a lot of time to adjust including the facial muscles as well, because they all work together to produce the speech. So for sounds like fricative sounds, f, sh, as mentioned before, because they use the teeth a lot, they will need a bit more time to adjust so that all of the muscles and teeth and articulators can work together to produce the sounds that you need. It might also be likely that you develop a little bit of a lisp after the surgery. Just wait for your mouth to get used to the new teeth in your mouth and it will probably disappear with a bit of time and patience. Our face uses a complex network of muscles and articulators to enable us to produce speech movements. So when you lose teeth due to oral degeneration, um, our muscles will maybe not work as much or work differently because the teeth are no longer there. When this happens to our teeth, it's because the harmful bacteria in our mouth has damaged our gums and it can even go into your bloodstream. Because our teeth have moved or there are spaces, this affects all of the movements of our muscles and then our speech. These facial muscles help your lips and cheek for speaking, smiling and eating. So they include the orbicularis oris, uh, the levator muscles of the upper lip, and the zygomatic muscles that lift the corner of your mouth. And this allows you to smile. These muscles also help your lips and cheeks for speaking, eating, and expressing emotions. They include the orbicularis oris, the risoris and mentalis, the bucinator in your cheek, which allows you to hold your cheeks in place if you are, for example, blowing out a candle, and the depressor muscles that pull the lips downwards and let you frown or look unhappy. As you can see, they're all connected and work really closely together. So this is why it's so important to understand that if something changes in the mouth, these muscles will all need time to adapt and be able to work together again as they did before. After surgery, your lips and teeth will now rest against your prosthetic teeth and not the natural teeth that you had before. But your muscles around your mouth and in your face and your articulators, they'll take time to adjust to this change. In the first few weeks, it's normal to feel some tightness, some fatigue and notice some movement changes when you produce speech or when you are talking or chewing or eating while they adapt and catch up. Usually after around four weeks time, your muscles will start to understand, work together better. This will continue with time and around eight weeks, the muscles will usually feel more coordinated and stable. Small changes may continue to improve over time. You might notice different speech changes, but just give yourself time and patience and remember that everybody's journey is different. Hopefully these videos have explained a little bit more about how speech works and why you might need a little bit of time after the surgery to readjust to your speech. 
Remember that everybody is different and try to just be patient. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and good luck on your journey.